Oh, we're on. Good. <laughs> Professional as ever. I was just looking over there at some stuff. <laughs> just checking out, making sure everything was all right, you know. Everything's painted and ready to go. What? What? I was looking over at that bit up there, the frosted glass above the door. <laughs> also, you know what would be handy? Once we start doing the show, if you wouldn't... I think this is a nitpick at me. <laughs> Do you believe this? The hell, man. Do you believe it? It's like, I'm just saying some things. <laughs> like, the producers know the show go, well, no, there's nothing over there. Where were you looking at? <laughs> This is meant to be, we're meant to be doing a TV show. You're meant to be producing it. No, gonna, oh, there's nothing over there. You're just making... Crikey. No, what's wrong with you? <laughs> it's nothing. Anyway, I'm excited about tonight's show. Really? Yeah, I am, actually. I'll tell you why, because both of my guests tonight are, uh, are qualified pilots. I am a qualified pilot. I know, I know. But... <laughs> And I'm very, very, without any joking at all, I'm very interested in aviation. Very, I like aviation. It's, it's uh, you know, you, you go up, you go down. It's awesome. And fly, you like flying, Jeff? I love flying. I, I love flying. And both of, uh, both of my guests are uh, American aviators. Now, the fact that one of them happens to be a big, giant movie star and the other one is an attractive young woman is beside the point. <laughs> So, if you don't like airplanes and flying talk, yeah. Tootsie Fruits. Because, <laughs> you know, people say, you know, well, people, when I say people, I mean, you know, over there, he's like, you can't talk to them about airplanes all night. I'm like, really? Maybe I should go over there and talk about the, the fact that there's nothing over there. Will I do that? <laughs> what are you going to do? You're going to talk to people about airplanes all night? Maybe, maybe I will, yeah! Oh, you're getting all, all worked up at the top of the show here, man. Uh, am I? Well, I should pace myself. Yeah, getting kind of... Did you see when I did that? That looked like I was, I'd been doing cocaine, <laughs> didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's if you didn't know me when I did do cocaine. Because if you didn't know me when I did, you know, when I did, uh, you would think, oh, he's been doing cocaine. But if you'd ever seen me actually doing cocaine, you'd be like, no, no, he isn't doing cocaine. <laughs> I've seen him when he does cocaine, and it's nothing like that. And you're right, here's what the screen would look like if I was actually doing cocaine. <laughs> I wouldn't be here, is what I'm saying. <laughs> we'll be right back with the show, everybody. completely believable round of applause the ovation it was genuine it was like no one had coached you in any way <laughs> when he tells you to be quiet just keep going keep going <laughs> you love him so much you have to keep going <laughs> I have to be honest the audience is professionally fluffed before I arrive <laughs> <laughs> mind, it's a great day for America everybody It's Friday, everybody. Yes, it's Friday. Uh, you know what happened this week in New Zealand? They legalized gay marriage. It's been a very historic week for gay hobbits. It means... 
It means that Bilbo can finally marry Gandalf, unless someone throws his ring into a volcano. <laughs> is, that, is that a sex thing? Yeah, that's a thing. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Margaret Thatcher, of course, her uh, funeral took place in London this week. She's dead. Uh, so, so they had a funeral. And uh, during his eulogy, uh, Justin Bieber said he never knew Thatcher, but he'd like to think she was a believer. <laughs> big news here is that Justin Bieber gave a eulogy? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I think that's made up. I may actually be telling a lie. Yeah, that's false. That's not true. That's not. That didn't happen. Anyway, a big movie opened today. I'm very excited. It's one of them science fictions. <laughs> the science fiction is called Oblivion. Tom Cruise is in it. Did you get a poster from it? Look at that. That's, uh, you know, the bridge is big. There. I don't like the poster. It makes Tom Cruise look like he's a tiny little leprechaun. <laughs> Which is ridiculous, because everyone knows Tom Cruise is a giant! I'm saying the opposite of what's true. Actually, Tom Cruise is five foot seven. It's not that short. He's not tiny. It's five seven. It's not that short. You put that into context, he's the same height as three members of One Direction stacked on top of each other. It's not that short. It's not that short. Not that short, no. Why, well, you, you're about five foot seven, yeah, aren't you? Five seven, yeah. Well, there you are, then. He's the same height yeah. as my appliance. <laughs> I have to say, though, the Oblivion movie looks very cool. Tom Cruise is an intergalactic soldier who spends his day fighting aliens. I have no idea what he does in the movie, but Tom Cruise is an intergalactic soldier. <laughs> I think this movie is going to be a return to form for Tom Cruise because he hasn't been in a big budget fantasy project like this since his marriage. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, come on, it's a joke. It was a joke. It's a joke. Oh, fine, applaud the mean-spirited crap, you bastards. <laughs> it's a joke. I like Tom Cruise. I do like Tom Cruise. People are like, Greg, you've said that you didn't like Tom Cruise. That was years ago. I changed my mind. <laughs> I do. I like Tom Cruise. Well, I tell you why I changed my mind, because people were going, Tom Cruise is crazy, and I'm like, yeah, but he's not your accountant. He's a movie actor. He's paid to be crazy. It's his job. You're like, well, I like my movie actors sane. I like my movie actors crazy. What about you, Jim? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> we got a big movie actor on the show tonight, haven't we? <laughs> He's probably crazy. You know, it's hard to believe that, uh, that, that Tom Cruise is 49 years old, which means he is the same age as Wilfred Brimley was when he played the old guy in Cocoon. <laughs> That's true! I'm like, I know! Tom Cruise shouldn't be fighting aliens. Who should be fighting, Jeff? Diabetes. Diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> we practiced that. We practiced that. Yeah, yeah. He shouldn't be fighting aliens. Who should be fighting, Jeff? Diabetes. Yay! <laughs> anyway, the movie Oblivion is set at a time when the shady government uses drones to enforce its evil policies, or as Fox News calls it, now. And... <laughs> <laughs> You're like, hey, hey, Craig, we don't know where we are with this. <laughs> no, the movie takes place in the year 2077. Humans have abandoned Earth, but strangely, Jay Leno is still hosting The Tonight Show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah? You wait and see! <laughs> now, I wonder what I'll be doing in 2077. I'll be 115 years old. So probably watching CBS, I would imagine. <laughs> I'll tell you, this movie's going to be good, uh, The Oblivion, and I'll tell you why it's going to be good. Uh, because Morgan Freeman's in it. And I've said this many times before, you put Morgan Freeman in a movie, it's going to be good. Morgan Freeman and Tom Cruise never appeared on camera together, but Morgan uh, did narrate Tom Cruise's movie uh, War of the Worlds. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah, remember that, Jeff? How does that go again? Look at the aliens chase that tiny little man. <laughs> run, tiny little man, run like a bitch. Yeah, yeah it was like that. <laughs> <laughs> we practiced that as well, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. We did practice that. Anyway, the, uh, the director of Oblivion says the film is a tribute to the science fiction movies of the, the 70s, and there were some weird ones. My favorite was Zardoz with Sean Connery. <laughs> 
Not a great movie, but <laughs> worth seeing for his outfit. You get that picture from Zardoz? Yeah, that's what he wore. <laughs> Yeah, what is that, 40 years later, people still go, oh, But apparently, Zardoz is an alien word for banana hammock. <laughs> you see that again? You know that? You know how some movies start fashion trends? That, that one didn't. Let me see that picture again. Look at that. Look at that fantastic gun. <laughs> and also the pistol he's holding. Uh, I like the suspendery things. I think it's like a post-apocalyptic Larry King. <laughs> They're like, planet Earth, you're on the air. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever see that movie, Zardo? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you like it? Oh, I love that film. Do you really? Yeah, it's got the big floating heads and all that stuff. <laughs> I can't remember that. Yeah, no. I mean, I was a little stoned when I was watching that. Do you mind if you get Sean Connery trying to wear that outfit now? <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd pay top dollar. Yeah, I would. He would do it, though. He'd be like, I will do it for no less than five dollars. <laughs> I wonder if, you know, sometimes when movie actors do movies, they take their outfits home. At the end, they're like, ah, oh, I'll just take this one home. I wonder if he took it home. <laughs> He's like, go home to his wife and go, Micheline, I'm home. <laughs> come here, come here and look. Leave what you're doing and come to the door. I have arrived home. <laughs> Wearing large boots and a hanky. <laughs> I'd like to see Wilfred Brimley wear that outfit. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't want to see that, would you? Yeah, diabetes. Uh, <laughs> hey, it's time for a commercial break. Oh, you, oh, you want to go? You want to get out of here? I don't want to go. We can Just go. We have the option. Go where? Just leave. Well, you, you can't leave. You're attached to an outlet. You're stuck right there. <laughs> Why don't you unplug me? Is that like throwing your ring into a volcano? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, take us to the commercial break. Go. It's commercial break time. Get busy watching and get busy buying crap. <laughs> oh, crap. show that picture of Sean Connery wearing the hanky as well. We did do that. Yeah, that's very, very aerodynamic. Very aerodynamic. You know, it's true. There did, I mean, if you set him on his side, there was enough curvature there, <laughs> and you could, whoop, right, you get airspeed over that thing of his, and off you go. <laughs> off, off that thing of his, huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I looked down uh, there for a moment, just, you know, in shame at yeah. what I just said, and my tie was on the desk, <laughs> and I thought for a minute, it was my penis. <laughs> <laughs> and then I remembered I'm Caucasian, and it's not. <laughs> no, be, no, because of the color of my tie. Oh. <laughs> you, uh, uh, you should... no, let, let it go, man! No, man it just... Let it go, it was a genuine mistake. <laughs> you sure you didn't do a little toot before uh, the no, show? No, sure? forget it. All right. What time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? Well, it's time to put on your fuzzy nighttime banana hammock and get comfy, because <laughs> it's tweet mail time. Let's do our own jingle tonight. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You do it then. All right. Tweet mail. Tweet mail. Tweet mail. All right, this. This is from Jim in New York City. Uh, he says, have you ever been there? Love it there. We went there together. We did? That's right. Yeah, we man. were there. Where, what was the name of that hotel we stayed in? The, the, the one, the big <laughs> one. Can't say that one on the air. No, you can't. Uh, so <laughs> say another one. The other one. <laughs> uh, Jim in New York City. Oh, yeah, I think we met him when we were there, he right? Was, yeah, he was at the show. Yeah, that guy, Jim. Yeah, he was in the third row. <laughs> Uh, dear Craig and Jeff, uh, do you know all these stories about a guy whose girl leaves him for a girl? I'm one of them. Any advice? <laughs> Maybe a bit late for advice. Uh, I think well, next time look for a heterosexual girl. <laughs> if you're a dude, I think that's yeah, the way right, to go, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. 
Okay, you know, I'm not judging. I'm just saying, <laughs> if you're a heterosexual... Oh, Ay, caramba! Uh, <laughs> um, this is from the Williams family. This is an, an email from the entire family. Oh, that's lovely. Isn't that adorable? I wish you'd sent us your Christmas card. <laughs> Uh, the Williams family from Redondo Beach, California. Hi, Craig and Jeff. Hi, the Williamses. Say hi to them. Hey, Williams family. Do you, have you ever met them? Oh, a couple times, yeah. They were in New York, I think, with Jim. <laughs> hi, Craig and Jeff. Any suggestions for our next European vacation? We've already been to England, Scotland, Ireland, and France. Eh, yeah, you pretty much covered it. <laughs> hey, go to the Epcot Center, you wise ass. Just around the whole thing, you're done. <laughs> Take you a couple of hours. <laughs> I've really become American, yeah, haven't yeah, I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is from uh, Margolin's class. Uh, oh, it's from a class. The whole, the whole class? I think so. Uh, in Vancouver, in Washington. But look, they, they, uh, it's a class led by an eagle. Wow. Wow. Is that the collective noun for eagles, a class? I thought it was a magnifico or something. I, what is it? Yeah, magnifico is the technical term <laughs> for class. Oh, right, it's, a, it's a, a teacher about her class. She said, my creative writing students are working to figure out if poetry matters in today's society. Any thoughts? <laughs> the horse says no. <laughs> but, here's a tip, the horse is an idiot. <laughs> an aggressive idiot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, of course poetry matters. Uh, Jeff, what's that poem that we like? That what? Oh, it's called uh, Ode to My Thai Penis. <laughs> We get 30 seconds, we get three emails left. What are we gonna do? Quickly, we'll there's no time. Quickly, quickly, quickly there's no time. It's, it's, like, it's like Liam Neeson and Taken Two. Quickly, throw the grenade. Quickly, quickly. No, quickly. No, no. it makes sense. Right, this is from uh, Daniel in, uh, in Latvia. Hi, Craig and Jeff Pierce. In Latvia? Yeah, good people, Latvians. Uh, hi, Craig and Jeff. Have you given up your plans to film your program in Latvia? What can we do to convince you to come here? <laughs> oh, no, we're, we're still working on it. <laughs> Yeah, no, just the other day I saw some plans. Hey, maybe the Williamses could go to Latvia and we could film it. What a great excuse, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the Williamses go to Latvia. Yeah. <laughs> this is from Anna in Green Bay, Wisconsin. You ever been there? Lovely place. <laughs> a lot of cheese. Lot What's of cheese. your favorite part of Green Bay? <laughs> the middle portion. <laughs> <laughs> Hi there, Craig and the gang. What the hell? The hell, man. The gang's not a gang. It's a man in appliance and... Not a real horse. <laughs> uh, does it bother Jeff that so many fans now love Secretariat as much as they love him? <laughs> the hell? Jeff? Uh, that's not a real thing, Jeff. Yeah, yeah it's not. <laughs> I can't believe someone would write that. I'm sorry I read that out. Uh, let's cut it out of How the show. How dare they? Uh, yeah. Oh, no, we can't. We're live. <laughs> and finally, this is from Leah in Honolulu, Hawaii. Oh, hello. Tiny bubbles. Leah says, uh, uh, what do you have against pineapple on pizza? A lot of us think it's delicious. Yeah, you're wrong. <laughs> pineapple is an awesome, tasty thing. Uh, and so is pizza. <laughs> but together, they are abhorrent to me. <laughs> they make me want to vomit. <laughs> Yet apart, I'm delighted to see them. But together, they make the bile rise in my gullet. They make me want to have a stomach just so I can regurgitate it. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to have to clear that up. Harrison Ford's on next. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right
Anyway, my next guest is a great, big, giant American movie star, a huge star of stage and screen, and also a pilot. <laughs> His latest film, 42, is in theatres now. Take a look at that. Harrison Ford, everybody! You look nice. I am nice. <laughs> You're not that nice. Yeah, yeah. No, you must be quite no, nice. I'm crazy. Remember? I never... I didn't mean you were cra Are you a helicopter pilot? Yeah. Then you are... I caramba. Crazy. Every time... <laughs> every helicopter pilot I've met is crazy. Right. <laughs> right. Am, I, am I lying? No. Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> Yes, no. There's a little bit of Maybe. that, and everybody I've met Maybe. who flies helicopters no, is a no, little no, bit no. crazy. I think, you know, uh, it's it would be uh, it would be really stupid to be crazy and a helicopter pilot. You don't need to do both. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I see where you're going with this. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah. No. We're good. Yeah. We're good. Yeah. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Movie looks good. Movie is good. All right, so. <laughs> nice. <laughs> if no, I, a I didn't say. Okay. Would I be here? No, come on. No. Well, would, would you? Would you go and publicize a movie if you thought at the end of it, you know what? I'm not crazy about this. I'm just going to no. stay home. No. I mean, it's a good movie, though. Uh, it is a good movie. Well, there you are, then. It's no. fine. Now, tell me about the Pratt & Whitney PT-6A uh, turbo engine. Isn't that a fantastic airplane engine? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, I told you we could talk about airplanes. It's fine. No, yeah, it is a, yeah, it's a great engine. It's a great engine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's a very reliable engine. It's if a very thinking, reliable if engine. If you're thinking of going out and buying one, uh, <laughs> do it. Now it's, listen. it's a really safe bet. It is. It's a good yeah. engine. No, let me ask you. Did, what, did you grow up uh, in getting into aviation? Were you a kid in, involved in it, or did it no, come later on? No, I, well, I, went, I had a, one lesson when I was in college. Uh, two, three or four lessons when I was in college. And I, I, I was really interested in it, but I couldn't afford it. It was it's like... Very expensive. <clears throat> well, it was about 11 bucks an hour for the plane and the pilot. I was in college a long time Yeah, ago. I was going to say, yeah. yeah. Really? That's... Yeah. That's... Yeah. I mean, it's more than that now, I think. It is. If someone's going to charge me 11 bucks an hour for an airplane, I'm not getting in it. No. Uh, but what do you fly? A little Cessna. Yeah? A little Cessna. Yeah, I learned in a, in a 182. Well, actually, I learned in a 172. Yeah. You know, those little, yeah. like, four-seat yep. yep. and... Uh, I, that's what I learned in. Really? Yeah. They're great airplanes, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they are. Yeah, I nearly broke one a couple of times, though. <laughs> It you ever happens. broken an airplane? You ever kind of? Uh, I've, uh, um, I've, uh, uh, <laughs> I, I broke a helicopter. <laughs> they almost break themselves, really, helicopters. Don't they? Completely. I was doing a practice. Uh, this is probably more detailed than you really want to go into. Uh, I don't care about that. <laughs> Clearly not. No. But it, I, I, I was doing practice auto rotations, and, the, and you you know roll the power off, and you drop the collective, and you don't know that, but he does. And then when you get to the bottom, you roll the power in, and you lift the collective, and the power didn't come back in. So we did a real auto rotation to an unsuitable surface, and a hard landing, and the, the helicopter was damaged. But that um, that uh, the only significant. Uh, did that spook you? No. When you did that? Have you ever been spooked in flight? Because I, I have. Um, not, uh, not so much. I've See, been spooked in simulators. Really? That's interesting. No, I mean, you're perfectly safe in a simulator. Yeah. 
Oh, why did I think of that? <laughs> No, no calm down, man. It's fine. You're yeah. in a simulator. Yeah. In fact, right now, this is in fact a simulator. Oh. No. That explains it. Do you ever get confused? Do you ever fly so much and you were tired and you think, am I in a simulator or are we actually doing this? No. 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 Maybe a little bit? No. All right, man. No. But I, I learned in a 172, and, uh, and I just, uh, my latest airplane is a 182. I went out and bought another one. Really? Yeah. Is it a 182 turbo? Yes, it is. Yeah, because you need that for the density altitude on the West Coast, right? In Wyoming, where I live. Wyoming? You get density altitude in Wyoming, though, don't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what yeah, I'm saying. It's You're, high. It's high up, yeah. yeah. And then you get hot weather and a bit of rain in there, the plane will never take off. Yeah. I know my Lingonberry. Yeah. He does. You know, I... I don't. <laughs> it's like, this is the only place in the world you get a round of applause for knowing what density yeah, yeah, altitude yeah, yeah. is. <laughs> so, uh, listen, do you, do you have a lot of airplanes? Is that a personal question? Yeah. All right. So uh, I, I have, I have, uh, I have a, 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 few, a few. They're all different. And they're all di do different things. But I have a few. Yeah. Do you have any old timey airplanes? Yeah. Like a rotary yeah, engine yeah. airplane. Oh yeah, I've got a well one, two, uh, two rotary engine. I have a the Havilland Beaver. And uh, <laughs> we should just let them do it. They're going to do it. We let's let them do it. It's a de Havilland beaver, though. Yeah. And I have a, uh, a, a 1939 Waco taper wing. Ooh. With a, a you know, Jacobs uh, engine. Is that a uh, biplane? Yeah. Yeah, that's a swanky looking thing. Yeah. Open cockpit? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, do you ever wear hats? <laughs> In that thing? Easter yeah, yeah. for the parade, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where's the where's the uh, where's the most interesting place you've landed an airplane? Um, well, I do uh, quite a bit of bush flying, so I like to go back. Hang on, you want, might want to do that as well. <laughs> if you laugh at Beaver, yeah. you might want to have a go at bush flying. <laughs> yeah. What's that coming to go? All right. Uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry, man. No, it's, it's all right. It's all right. Yeah. Oh. Um, uh, so I like that. <laughs> Landing off in the... We see yeah. Ariel, who's coming on next. She did, yeah. uh, her, uh, her family runs uh, Era Alaska. But I understand Alaska. she doesn't actually fly. No, I've seen her fly. Oh, I thought she, I thought, uh, she, she didn't... No, she got her license. She, oh, has, a, she has a little 152. Great. Yes. Yeah. More pi hey, what do you think about this uh, closing down the small, uh, these small um, control towers? There's a controversial ah, subject. Ah, it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, um, uh, you know, that it's, under, it's, it's understood that, that uh, we all have to make cuts in the budget and sure. sequestration is uh, upon us, uh, but the FAA has, a, a, I think, enough discretionary budget to be able to pick and choose very wisely the, the towers that they that they're closing, uh, uh, but uh, I don't think they've had the time to really do the safety assessment that they to need figure to figure out the right figure ones out to close. The right ones yeah. to close. Yeah, right. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, before before we go, uh, the movie's good though, right? <laughs> yeah. I thought I thought I cleared that up. Yeah, yeah no, I, I was, just you know, no, I, it's I, very good. Yeah, it's no, it's good. great. <clears throat> go and see it. Yeah, no, they will. They will. You're like, in it, man. They'll go see it. Probably now <laughs> would be a good time to leave. If you could stay at the end of the show, I would. Uh, <laughs> like that's that's pretty selfish, man, to just say they can go now, because they'll go. Yeah, you're right. I know. All right. All right. Fancy an awkward pause before you leave? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes, then, Jill. Harrison Ford, everybody.
guest is the uh, star of Discovery's uh, channel's uh, Flying Wild Alaska. She's also a pilot. <laughs> the beautiful Ariel Tweedo, everybody. Ariel Tweedo. So I didn't know until the commercial break there, Harrison Ford unbuttoned his jacket after he was here and he said, I was wearing this the whole time. And gave it to me. And then he I've never taken it off ever. What is, what is it? Is it from Vegas? It's from Vegas. Oh, right. Yeah. I, I love him. I just hugged Han Solo and Indiana Jones. Yeah, well, yes. I, I could die today and I'd be happy. Don't say that no, kind of thing. No, no, it's... it's I love him though. He's he reminds me of my dad, just how like he talks with his hands. And I could just see him be like, Ariel. <laughs> he, and he just seems so serious, and I'm just like, ooh, I don't know what to do about it. Well, he's Harrison Ford. I I must admit, I was a out. little bit pooping my pants when he was out. I was pooping my pants too, not literally, but it was almost yeah. Well, it's kind of, you know, I mean, he's got a lot of history and presence, and yeah. he's a really good pilot. Like your dad. Your yeah. dad's a really good pilot. Yeah. What does he fly? What was he For saying? your dad? Surely you should know that. No, not my dad. Harrison. Harrison. Well, he's got a de Havilland Beaver. <laughs> a Cirrus, or? I don't know. I, don't, I didn't ask him about it. I think it's kind of awkward to ask, like, a super famous rich guy, how many planes have you got? And then he has to think, oh, wait a minute, I've got... I was thinking, he doesn't even know how many planes... I know. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a cool moment. Yeah, that Never was pretty cool. That. Yeah. yeah, I'm impressed by pilots. I just am. I was very impressed uh, when you got your pilot's license on the end, the end bit of the show. It was Were fantastic. Were you surprised? No, I wasn't surprised. I had seen you. I was. <laughs> Were you really? <laughs> no. yeah, I was a little bit surprised when I got mine. Yeah, when when did you get yours? It was like four years ago or something. Oh, I thought you were going to say 40. I was like, 40, 40 years yeah. ago? <laughs> How <laughs> old do you think I am? I know. No, you look good. <laughs> yeah, for the 80-year-old man you think I am. No. No, I was, uh, I, I was uh, hmm, 45, I think, when I got my 46, maybe. I'm 50 now, 50. and I've got five tattoos. Five tattoos. Yeah, we, did, we went over that last time you have, I can't remember. No, I only had three the last time I saw you. I've added two. Oh, what are they of? I can't tell you. Oh, I won't tell you my one I just got then. You just got another one? Yeah. All right, you tell me yours, and then I'll think about telling you mine. If yours, <laughs> if yours is good. Um, or do you not want to tell uh, me about it? No, I don't want to tell, tell you about it. Tell me how many planes you have I told you, you the last then. time how many planes I personally have. Do you have a plane? Yeah, you have that. Huh? You have a little 152, right? Yeah. No, they. Uh, I had one five, to is it 152 or 150? It is 172. I have you have a 172? Oh. Yeah. Okay. 172 Foxtrot Alpha. That's my call sign. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> all right, I'll pretend I'm air traffic control and you pretend you're you, all right? Okay. All right, I'm right. I'm waiting for you to call. I'm sitting okay. here waiting. Oh, um, air, tra uh, air traffic control, this is November 172 Fox Tri Alpha. Am I clear to take off? What do you want? Um, I, <laughs> I would like to take off, good sir. Uh, I don't know. Where, where? See, then I always end up talking to them. And well, because you'll be you like, know. oh, wait a minute, is this Ariel Tweedo? Like, this ah, kind of yeah. I love your show. Everybody no, <laughs> they never say that. They don't. They, they go, they, everybody get yeah. out of the sky. No, they, they let me take off whenever. It's just, yeah. Now, uh, these airports that you use in, in Alaska, though, there's time, there's no towers at these airports, right? Um, There's, like, two that I fly into that have towers. Everything else is just fair game to... Well, the village you're from... Uh, Unilakleet. Unilakleet. I can never say it. I always I say I don't say it like that either. It's Unilakleet. It's Unilakleet. But then, no, like, if you're local, you don't say that. You leave out a syllable. So, so you just say unically. Yeah. Right, okay. So the, the, you've got an airstrip there, mm -hmm. but no tower. No right? tower. Right, so yeah. you just go, uh, all right, out of the way, everybody, yeah. I'm coming in. <laughs> you you communicate with other people flying, and so and they're all people we know, so it would be like, Ben, I'm coming in, stay out of the way. And then he's like, okay, Ariel, I'll circle around, then he'll come in. Are you still yeah. running every day? Every day. Every yep. day. Since 2002. That's fantastic. How, how much do you run every day? Um, depends on like what I did the day before, what I have going on the next day. Usually density altitude. Does it depend on density yeah. altitude? Holy cow! <laughs> density. I know what that means. Yeah, I know you know what that means, but some people here don't. Oh, those guys. Yeah. <laughs> 
So it depends on how much, but like on average, a week then, how much and, would you run? Um, Do you count it even? Like 30 to 40 miles. Miles? Yeah. Oh what, God. kilometers? Or I was going to say yards. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you do? You're fit. Not really. Yeah. A little bit. Do you know what I've been doing recently? That Boxing. Boxing? Yeah. Let me feel them. Oh! Yeah! Wow! I know! Like rocks! I know! Feel mine! I don't think I should. <laughs> no, try to actually feel them. They're All right. Wow! Yeah. What have you been doing? What have I been doing? Steer... <laughs> I don't know. I, I have so many <laughs> planes, I don't even know what I've been doing. No, I do 13 push-ups a day. 13? 13. No, man style. Man style. Like army style. Like all the way down. But 13? No, that's... I used to do a lot. I'm mocking you. I don't want to be huge. Like, I no, don't no, want to, like, no. get no neck. You know when I'm going for no that. Neck. I'm going for the big... Yeah. I want the full Tatum. <laughs> the Tatum? Yeah, Channing Tatum. You know, oh, he's got a big oh, neck oh, like that. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I want a big neck like that. I've never heard that, the Tatum. No, I just made it up. Oh, that's it. I'm going to listen. No, I met Channing Tatum, though. He's got a very muscular neck. He's a football player, I think, yeah. and he's got that. Yeah. And I was but like, I'd just... like one of those. And also that neck. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get one because you don't, you don't need a huge neck to survive. Like, I don't get why you need... Well, you don't need pants to survive. What's your point? <laughs> that, I don't know. It just feels unnecessary. Like, if you were to, like fall into the ocean and you have to pull yourself out of a boat like you don't need like a huge neck or like big arms like all you need is just like i could do it right now and <laughs> <laughs> well. like no i just think it's so funny when guys get or even like chicks get super like shredded and you're like why are you that big it just makes no sense well it's you know it feels good yeah i don't know i've never done it yeah, yeah. <laughs> i could picture you guys like a really jacked up big Well, you guy. think I should get jacked? Like ripped? Like yeah. shredded? If, yeah. I think that boat may have sailed. I think if I tried to get shredded, I'd just like implode in some way. <laughs> no, you should make a personal goal for yourself and just try it. Okay. Can... Thanks, Oprah. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> Anyway, we're out of time. So, uh, awkward pause? Uh, fancy an awkward pause or something else? Oh, wow. Hey, hey. That's, uh, <laughs> Who was I just acting like? Harrison Ford. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or your dad. Or I'm my not dad. Sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's do the awkward pause. All right. I'll be your dad and you be Harrison Ford. Okay. <laughs> Ariel, you beat up the FAA inspector again. <laughs> I need to take an acting class or something because my acting skills are very bad. That won't <laughs> work against you in this town in any way. <laughs> Ariel Twitter, everybody. Right now. If you're going to be in the Los Angeles area and would like to attend a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, please call 323-570-0059 or visit llstickets.com. Jeffrey, I have something to tell you. What's that, Craig? I'd like you to get your pilot's license. Oh, and why? Because I feel that you were left out this evening with my fellow band of aviators and I laughed at the de Havilland beaver and... <laughs> bush pilot. <laughs> and I think you would enjoy the entendre opportunities of a life in the skies. I'd love it just so I could say to people... Get off my plane! <laughs>